Good morning, everybody. On our uh, day off today, I wanted to take a few moments to go over a few points I would have reviewed with you in class today that are going to be important for the test tomorrow. And those are these questions about manuscripts and how we get the text that we have. We have here one of the earliest manuscripts. It's from the 9th century, so that's the 800s, the quarters, so that's 800 to 825. In Caroline Minuscules, so that's coming from the court of Charlemagne, uh, his court sort of scholar, Alcuin, who set up a whole kind of school there, uh, invented Caroline Minuscules. So this is probably from uh, that context. We're not so much worried about these basic points as how we figure out how manuscripts are related. And that's where this image comes in. This is a stemma. This is a family tree of manuscripts. We start at the bottom in the Roman letters, A, Q, B, M, S, L. Those are manuscripts <clears throat> that we actually have. And those references are here. And they're usually based on where they are, that's the city name, then the shelf number. So Paris, Lat, Latin, manuscript number 5056. From there, we try to figure out how they're related to the archetype, which is the original manuscript for this family tree, but it's not the original manuscript that Caesar wrote. That would be having to go farther back. You're already dealing with a couple of levels of supposition here because all the Greek letters, omega, chi, and phi, are manuscripts that we don't have, but we logically deduce that we would have based on how A and Q have similar mistakes in them. Like they might repeat or leave out certain words or mess up endings uh, or other errors like that. Um, numbers, like of troops or casualties. Uh, especially if they are in Roman numerals, get messed up a lot in transmission. Likewise, these four over here probably also have similar mistakes. And so you need at least two putative manuscripts to then go back to Omega. What that also means is that if we ever found more older manuscripts, which is unlikely, we would obviously have to change this. Now, with the Alpha group, which remember, the Alpha group is important because it has only the Gallic Wars. The Beta group has the Civil Wars, which Caesar also wrote, and then the Alexandrian Wars, uh, the Spanish War, and the African War, which other people wrote. That Beta group, no one's ever really figured out or really agreed upon what it really looks like, and we all sort of just follow what Virginia Brown came up with in 1972. So, a stemma is a family tree. The alpha group and the beta group are our two main divisions. Alpha has only the Gallic Wars, that's the text we're reading. Beta has the Gallic Wars and all the other ones. If you have any questions, remember you can email me and I will also take questions from you uh, tomorrow morning before we start the test. It's going to be day two tomorrow, so we are not going to meet first. We are going to meet second after advisory. So stay safe out there, and hopefully I will see you all tomorrow.